And we're back. <laughs> I think we switched mics. Whatever you don't jump. Whatever you don't jump. All right, here we go. Luigi Kid versus Mateo. Nice. Versus Ridley. No. Uh, yeah, hi, guys. We're back. All right, it's Luigi Kid. It's Mateo. This is a live. Forget, don't know what round of brackets this is right now. We're about to find out momentarily as it gets switched up for you guys right here. We're going to find out. It's going to be fine. But well, what's not going to be fine is Luigi Kid because he kind of just got bodied. Yeah, no, that was, that was tough stuff, man. I can't speak on how bad this matchup is or is not for either side because I very seldom have seen it. But, mm -hmm. you know, I know Mateo in his prime was, you know, once a, you know, a power rank top 15 player in the state. And, you know, he's definitely no one to be slept on. Definitely one of the, you know, better players we have in the area. And Luigi Kid definitely uh, cleans really well at these locals as well. So. I think he's a current D tier. I think he might be right. Or C tier. Or might be E. I don't remember. What, whatever one of the ones that get degrees. Ah, you real ones understand what I'm talking about. I have it saved on my phone somewhere, but I'm not picking that up right now. Uh, I did play both of these characters plenty in my heyday in Smash Ultimate, and as far as this matchup can go, in theory, it's quite bad for Luigi. And I say in theory because in practice it could be a whole different story because Luigi players play this game like their character does not have matchups. Like they e tier, by the way. Yeah, yeah, E tier, thank you. And it just goes in, does his thing. Is the wake up up smash going to take the stock? Can't be pressing buttons above Luigi when you're a death percent like that, or less that up smash do it for you. In theory, Paltana should demolish Luigi. In practice, it might be something a little bit different depending on how you know the matchup or not. But Palutena, in my opinion, has all the tools to be able to stuff out Luigi pretty solidly, as this should be a one, two, three, four, and a five. Yes, sir. Jesus. H. E tier. Jesus, E tier. Yeah, but at the same time, this is what I mentioned earlier. Luigi players play like they don't have matchups. And sometimes, in theory, does he really? If he could just do that to no. literally everybody? No, it's true. Yeah. Like, it's definitely one of those things where, uh, you know, as long as you know your percentages and, you know, if we're if the opposite. Oh! Oh, uh, he's, he, no. He able to make it back. He still had his jump there. That would be really nice otherwise. Oh, no. Oh, but he ran out of stage. Oh, pulls him right here. back. I was thinking the same thing. Pulls him right back, saying, I'm not done with you yet. Luigi players, if they know anything, if they don't have the true zero to death, they know how to lab out certain other ones. These guys are grinders, my friend. They want to find a way that no matter what percent you're at, they kill you off that grab. And looking damn near like Luigi Kid was almost able to do it right there, lest the DI of Mateo was just too clean, just like his tag going in. Now he's is absolutely anybody's game going into game number one between these two players here in Loser 7. Yeah, but there's also two instances where Mateo dropped a punish on a platform, so hopefully it doesn't come back to, to haunt him, you know, as this game one you know, reaches its conclusion. Oh, but the downs are going to catch right there. The tornado, no. Up we go. You know, I was known in the sense of Mateo will not survive that one, but the Luigi Kid will go on to win. Uh, but like I mentioned, there's two instances where, you know, Luigi Kid goes for the up B in the air, lands on a platform and goes relatively unpunished. Like the second time around, he just blatantly just missed the punish. So, you know, unfortunate stuff there for, uh, you know, for Mateo, you know, you just kind of stuff up. And again, it, it sounds easy to just say, don't get grabbed. Like it's much easier said in practice than to not, you know, get it done because of where Palutena has to play. You know, her offense has to play with Luigi's danger zone. So yes. it's um, tough stuff. The, the thing that I feel like Mateo has got to take advantage of here as he should know for sure more than uh, more than anybody else, it, both in and out of the game, you all know what I'm about to say, is that here's the, like, you got to fight against Luigi just like how you would in-game. Because just like in his games, he sucks at approaching women. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm completely serious. As he see, just he tried to approach one right there, and he died for it off the level. He didn't know what to do, he got shy, so he backed off. But in all serious here, I'm making an actual analogy here. Luigi does have the second worst airspeed in this game. Yeah. Right up, uh, and only behind King DDD, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah. I might have to wrap that one off the top of my head. And here's the thing, once you get Luigi in the air, that should be when it's go time, for sure. Especially when he's off the level. So many characters are so, so, so many players, I should say, are just so, so afraid to fight Luigi off of the level. If he gets stuck in the green missile, it's a 1 in 10 chance of a misfire, which is yep. less than it used to be in some of the other Smash games. So if you get him off stage, with or without a jump, bro, just hit him. Yeah. Just go off stage and hit him. And the beautiful thing about Palutena, which is why I do believe it is her that wins this matchup, is that not only does she have non-committal options, is that back air is going to take the stock, such as auto reticle and explosive flame, to juggle Luigi off the level, which is so, so, so good against Luigi. Yep. Even when you land or don't land those, her back air to actually stuff out Luigi's green missile, that's an invincible move. 
Yeah. So he can't even contest that if he tried. Nor is he going to be able to get in to beat her, uh, beat her to the punch because of how bad his airspeed is. If once Luigi's off the level, man, you cannot let him come back for free, especially with a character who's as dominant in that regard as Palutena. Is that down throw bear? Not going to take the stock yet, Koopa. Nope, not quite yet. There we go. Nair off the stage. So <laughs> love the punishes on both sides there. There we go. The dash attack will be punished by the up smash and a shield. So who's you get on the board here? But Mateo's generated a nice lead for himself here. Like he's, and what's been the equalizer for him is that invincible back air, being able to fight through the uh, uh, the bolter gusts, uh, you know, and able to extend that hitbox. It's really been beneficial for Mateo in his matchup so far. But you know, has Luigi Kid at past 100, so resources are going to be forced to be burned and. Now it's just kind of a rinse repeat of how you want to punish from the ledge here. So. Yeah. Back and forth over and over again. He's going to run out of stage to be able to even get the zero to death here. As, as what I wow. would say if We're we so just back. skipped a <laughs> step of the neutral air and getting the side... The, Okay. We're so back. Don't get... No, 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 oh, no, no. So don't, don't go grab we're again. So Are we back? back? We're so back! <laughs> oh, my God. We're that's crazy, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> that that's, feels so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's uh that was that's tough, man. That's <laughs> We're we're so back. I'm fr <laughs> I'm, I'm freaking speechless. <laughs> yeah, you I don't. <laughs> I don't. All right, here we go, I folks. Don't. Game three coming in. Luigi get up 2-0, and if I'm Mateo, I'm definitely feeling a type of way right now. That's definitely a way. That's definitely something that can suck the life out of your game. Like, just like that, zero to death to start the game. Yeah. But at what cost? I, I don't know. Like, I, it's gonna all be completely different. You know, two minutes from now. You or know or maybe just two seconds. Oh, not too, two wow, seconds. Two percent made a difference for sure. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. He actually doesn't go for the falling up air right there. You I mean you can count Luigi Kid for a lot of things, but he definitely knows his percents. Like he knows not to go for the falling up air right there because he knows he doesn't necessarily need it. Just the DI Mateo to survive that zero to death right there was absolutely immaculate, and is still in favor this time around. Is actually in a much better position as the jab locked forward smash is actually going to take it right there. You can't be missing your techs against Luigi as well either. He's very fast on the ground and has multiple kill options out of jab locks with the uppy, the forward smash, sometimes even a down smash if he's just feeling it enough. He's just such a scary, scary character once he's in, but I know that Palutena and Mateo has the tools to be able to keep him out. Just the rough bot is actually just doing this, just actually fighting him in the beef in neutral, because when you do, this happens, and you just die off the top again to the zero to death. Luigi baby with Luigi Kid. Is this what you guys tuned into Emergency oh, no, Run no, that back no. to see? Because if it's not, I'm sorry, because it's happening again for you all. Bro, right that was, here. That was crazy. The, like, the game actually could have just been over right there. Like I said, Mateo started this game with a really nice zero to death off stage. And just like that, it's it all is equated to nothing. Wow. Tough stuff, man, for sure. Yeah. Luigi, again, we talked about, you know, against Snake, where there are these characters where you literally cannot mess up. You know, your room for error is, your margin for error is literally zero. Um, Luigi's definitely one of those characters. <laughs> you know, if you give an inch, you are going to not only lose the country mile, but you're going to pay for it with your stock. So. Oh, yeah. He's paying. Why? 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 <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that. Uh, you got body. Why do I give you a sh What? That's yeah, true. It's true. It happened. I, I'm sure. I mean, I'll, I'll give him. I'll give him one up for that one. We're on the board, baby. <laughs> House wins. <laughs> I hate it here. Well, who against Luigi Kid? We got? Noku versus Luigi Kid. Noku versus Luigi Kid. All right. So y'all already know the drill for that one. That is Pokemon Trainer going up against Luigi. Normally, I would say that, I mean, we'll talk about the matchup when it comes, but normally I would say that, you know, like, having three characters would be really, really good against Luigi in one match, but at the same time, the zero to death works on everybody. I don't think he cares. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> it's it's yeah. really, it's, it's tough stuff, man. I, like, I, I, I don't, I don't think he does. But that's Bridges to Cross when we come to it. If you don't know what you're tuning into right now, we are at Emergency Run That Back, the seasonal Ipso facto, Dar PG, <laughs> Rar PG, you know, no flame war. A you very know, special Fort episode of the King Varty by the Kingdom uh, the folks. Yeah, the Fortnite, Valorant, uh, Smash Brothers, uh, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter 6, no flame war sure. uh, tournament for you guys right here. But we already have a. Uh, 
I do believe losers quarterfinals coming up for you guys right here between these two players right now. We got Noku. He's one of New York's finest out here with with the Pokemon trainer, as he's one to do. As Luigi Kid no, needs no introduction, but he does need a recovery, and it's not one that goes very far horizontally in the air on the x-axis. And as a result, he's going to die. Starting out losers quarters with a zero to death Koopa. Are we going to get two games in a row where a zero to death happens and Luigi Kid still wins the game? It's possible. Yeah, dude, it's just the <laughs> it's the comeback factor, man. I don't know what you want me to say. I mean, it's just such a scary like situation that he can do for years. And a beautiful oh, interaction on that one right there. <laughs> I actually do love it when Luigi's get the zero to death um, without the grab. Because it just, it's way more like, um, it's way more free flowing, if that makes any sense. Sure. Like, right here, that's every Luigi. <laughs> that was, like, that one, that every Luigi seconds. player knows three how to seconds. do that. Every single Bruh. Luigi player on the damn planet knows how to do that. No offense, but you don't need to lab it. It's not hard. The other ones, on the other hand, though, when he gets them without a grab, that's just pure reactions and situational awareness. The fact that he was able to get, uh, he got a strong down air and recognized that he was able to get a weak bear off of it, he really, he knows that that converts into uppy. This is what I'm saying, man. Luigi players, they wake up in the morning, they're like, damn, I hope I zero to death somebody today. <laughs> and so they just, that's this is what they do. They just lab all sorts of millions of ways to do that, my friends. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if you mean, don't have a disjoint against Luigi, baby, what is he doing? He's playing a bad character. That being said, though, Noku is still in, in the driver's seat right now, but, you know, at what cost? All it's going to take is one, well, not a, well, maybe not at this percentage, but. Yeah. All right, and just sinking with the plungers, as he is one to do. Keeping that easy ledge pressure over and over again with a beautiful neutral air option. Wake up by Noku to get his way back around. <laughs> yep, and the wake neutral air. Yo, I see, the thing is, you're laughing about it. I knew it was coming. As soon as he got that, I knew what he was going to do. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters against Luigi. Nothing. What a character. This character is a spectator sport. He's <laughs> tennis. <laughs> Underrated game, in my opinion, before that patch ruined it. I actually really like Mario Tennis Aces. It's a very fun game. Only one where you can play as a chain shop. That's very funny. Just accomplishing his tennis dreams. <laughs> you want to go to college? You asked me to do this, bro. Don't. All right. <laughs> Give you a shit. Me, on the other hand, I volunteer. Um, how does he drive a car? Shake? Thank you. <laughs> and he's one of the best characters in that game, by the way. Funny enough, the chain chomp. <laughs> it was like a quadriplegic. Jesus Christ. All right. Game two. Game two, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Volunteer podcaster commentators. That actually goes way farther than Mario's, by the way. Uh, not even necessarily the distance of the water gun, but the um, the hydro pump. Like, the pushback is way stronger than the flood, by the way. I believe it. So it doesn't go as far of distance, but it's it pushes you away. Lungs. Mario yeah. has technology. So. Well, the reason I'm bringing that up is not, you know, I'm sure, yes, hung I'm sure Hungry's yes. watching the bot, and he's like, you got to stop talking about Mario on commentary. No, I'm saying it for a reason, and that is because if you have a, if you have a transcendent pushback move, Against Luigi? Oh, that's huge. No, it's huge. You gotta yeah. be using using that. Any way that you can get him off stage for free like that? Oh, you gotta be doing that, my friends. He's very susceptible to being juggled as well, as that up air is gonna take the stock. Like, Noku is also very fortunate to have Ivysaur here in the giant up air, which you might think doesn't matter because he has a frame one escape option in the Luigi Cyclone on the way down. But here's the thing. Sometimes you just gotta jump in the face of Luigi on the way down, bait it out from him, and just drift away if your character has good enough airspeed, and then just counteract uh, it with a hitbox, which uh, not every character could be privileged enough to say that they have, but Ivysaur's got the hitboxes, and he is spacing them really, really well as Noku, not able to actually get the down air that time around like he wanted. Oh, there we go, the Nair into the green tornado. That is going to get uh, Luigi Kid on the board here. However, 110 on the tab, Noku has the closer out in Charizard. Definitely not gonna take much to secure this next KO. Yo, you know that breath hot. <laughs> Spicy. There we go. Very good ledge trap on the part of the up smash as well. Giant hitbox to be able to cover Luigi's options from the roll ledge right there. And you see him make he's, Yeah, I'm loving this platform right now. This is my home. It's good real estate. You know, it counters at, counteracts inflation pretty well. I didn't have to pay that much for it. <laughs> great, great neighborhood. Everyone recycles. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, really Head good. friendly. Good school system. I'm not, not ready to have kids yet, but, you know, it's a very good school system for when we're ready to do that. You know, that stage, on the other hand, very, very expensive, as still at zero to death. Oh, God. <laughs> it's such a scary situation, man, like, to be at that perfect percent against Luigi. Because right now, you're also just tacking on Rage with a one, two, three, four. Oh, actually, too short to counteract the up air right there. Wow. New strats. 
<laughs> Low profiling, new strats, ladies and gentlemen. We got some duck hunt stuff out here. All right. And you see what I'm talking about right here. You see how low Noku decided to go to try to get that neutral air right there? Edge guarding Luigi is just so, so damn important. And yeah. okay. he got hit by the side B, which is why so many people don't decide to go off stage against Luigi. But at the same time, Charizard's one of the heaviest characters in the game, and he has multiple jumps. You know, so even, yeah. even though he got hit by it, lest he get a misfire, which he actually can react to because of the hit lag into a tech. It's not the scariest thing to do against Luigi, especially when you're up a stock necessarily. I'm telling you, baby, he doesn't like to be oh, off baby, the level. You way every day. <laughs> With the Andy Dwyer version. Wanna be with you night and day. <laughs> oh, 5,000 squirtles in the wind. Uh, shout out to Parks and Rec. Shout out to Parks and Rec. Great show. Yeah. All right, game three. Oh, 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 that's the uppy move. You don't, Sheesh. you don't do that when you're not close to the ledge. Yeah, I'm good in the chopped it up as a missing put for 200 Alex. Uh, <laughs> what, what is a super jump punch? Yes. <laughs> and now you see the spacing tools coming out from Noku really, really well. He's using hydro pump a lot more in neutral. You noticing this? Yeah, no, I, I definitely see that as a as a factor here. Like you said, any sort of move you have to kind of keep Luigi at bay. You best be using it to the best of your ability. Okay, not going to get the hugest punish off of that, but still good stuff right there. And again, you see that Noku's not afraid to drop down low to hit, uh, to hit Luigi. If you're a character that, that, that you know that's able to get to get that low you know, and is able to get back safely, why you're not doing that every stock against Luigi is, is beyond me. I don't know how many times I have to say it, man. Y'all didn't see the webcams. I was throwing my hands up when Luigi's <gasps> off the level just hit him. Just hit him. He hates it off of there. Right here is where he loves it, being on the stage right here where he can get these uppies into these zero to deaths again as the beautiful DI, no rage on the part of Luigi Kid, coming out for the survival factor of Noku right here. But this should be a confirm. Oh, actually whiffing it that time around, not getting the turnaround of the uppie out in time. Yeah, so not getting the biggest punish on him, but now Charizard here to close out the game potentially for Noku. Again, you see everyone definitely has their favorite, you know, their, their favorite when it comes to Pokemon. Ivysaur definitely seems to be the favorite among uh, among Noku as uh, that green tornado does take the stock right there. You know, it's definitely given a steady, steady diet of uh, Squirtle and uh, Ivysaur and only charge like when need be. So. Mm -hmm. He's got three characters in one. I actually like the mix-up on the part of Luigi Kid right there. Instead of just waiting for him to just draw platform, try to go for the zero to death again, he recognized that he wasn't going to be ready for that off of the ledge and just decides to hit him instead. And speaking of ready off the ledge, that is Luigi Kid ready off the ledge with a beautiful tech off the edge guard right there. You might be hit, you may hit, you may hit me with it once, but not twice, as that forward air is going to take it off the side of the top instead. Noku up 2-1 against Luigi Kid right now here in Losers Quarters. Zoink scoop. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> oh boy. Alrighty. Well, nonetheless, we have a uh, a two games to one lead here for Noku, looking to make the run here into at least four guaranteed fourth place here. Yeah, and that's definitely um. I feel like losers' quarters at these types of like seasonal sort of monthly events are like the real super duper sweaty sets because that's a big difference in the prize pot right there. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Obviously, so would be like Grand Finals or Loser's Finals, but here is where, like, you know, the Super Sweat sets come into effect. It's like that sort of, like, theory that some commentators have about, like, you know, ah, screw Top 8. Top 32, that's where the real hype matches happen. Yeah, and, and I think in, in some respect, those people are correct. Like, yeah. you definitely see a lot more of those sweatier matches happen earlier in the bracket, you know, where the upsets are more likely to happen or it's a little bit less chalk uh, near the top. Yeah. Uh, nonetheless, though, it doesn't make these matches any less hype. You know, they're just, it's still a lot of fun to watch. And there we go. Dropping down once again to hit Luigi where it hurts. And that's in the vertical recovery uh, zone. Noku once again making excellent use of the five resource there. Uh, however, Luigi can wasting no time getting right back on the board here. That option that Noku picked off the level was so, so smart, too. Instead of going for, like, a strong hitbox like back air that Luigi Kid would have easily been able to react to and tech off the wall to be able to hit him again, he actually decided to go for a sinking neutral air again, which was not only way less committal, but I don't know if you noticed, it launched Luigi towards the wall at just slow enough of a knockback speed to the point where he was not able to tech off of the wall he would have air dodged instead. Right. So that just was the worst option that Luigi Kid could have possibly had that low below the stage. Because like I mentioned, Luigi's aerial drift, not good. 
Not good, baby. Once you get him that low, it's not easy. And once you get him that high, sometimes you could just chase him off the top either because he doesn't drift that far away. Noku adapting to the Luigi matchup right now, Kupo. He wants it. Yeah, you can definitely tell. So, one stock away from victory here. However, not out of the danger zone just yet. You see Luigi can try and, uh, you know, generate a poke uh, option of some, you know, some set. There you go. Down tilt being suddenly used here. As, you know, it's kind of a way to keep Luigi at bay here. Yeah, you don't want to mess with the vacuum box of that. I like the idea of him keeping the pressure on, but unfortunately for him, that move just sucks you in from so, so far away. The first Flare Blitz we have seen all set, by the way, to get him out of disadvantage on the other side of the level. Trying real hard to not lose this one. Good DI as the heavyweight of Charizard comes in clutch for Noku right now. But he's not going to survive another one of those back airs up, uh, back throws, I should say, up close. And a beautiful double jump to avoid the Luigi Cyclone again. Doing a wonderful job of holding on to this stock right now, Koopa. <laughs> but Yo! the tornado going to get him the iframes he needs to get through the back air. That could have been a game-changing option there for Luigi Kid. It's all it's gonna take is one grab to even oh, things up there. The animation didn't even start. My God, frame one and vulnerability, my friend. Oh, oh boy. Okay, that, that was almost one of those situations where you really don't want to misfire, which are a little more common in a game like Smash Ultimate for sure, but no, what's also not bro. common is pressing buttons against Luigi Steel to kill percent Sheesh. and expecting to not get bang, a feed for it. Th see, Another one of the very super duper messed up things about Luigi on top of this. Normally, when a character has a crazy wake up option like that, you can cross them up at least. Yeah. You can't do that against Luigi no. because of the way that he can turn it around and just get the hitbox frames out in time out of shield. Yeah. Breezy. That was, bro that was, that was definitely brazy for sure. But here we go, folks. He's going to zero to death in three times. Watch. Don't you bring that evil on me, Ricky Bobby? Don't you put that on us? <laughs> I mean, sometimes you feel paralyzed against Luigi. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew. Chip, I'ma come at you like a spider monkey. <laughs> great movie. I mean, what else is a great movie so far as a set? Yeah, it's, it is a great set, honestly. Going up to game five between these two titans of players right here. I love all of that. I love the weight out of the full hop right there to get another hit of the grab box coming in, and that's how you See get ya. stocks off the top, baby. Woo. Luigi Kid pulling it clutch, taking advantage of this game five here, Koopa. Yeah, excellent stuff right there from Luigi Kid. Getting on the board first. That's huge, obviously. You know, these matches have these matches have necessarily been whoever gets on the board first wins the game. So if there's anything, if you're Noku, you're like, all right, sick. <laughs> maybe the, maybe the, the odds are in my favor. Or maybe Luigi can start to cook here. See him starting to, to poke, you know, with Fireball a little bit more, and also more with, with the uh, Poltergeist as well, so. All right. Hanging in again. Good drift back on the part of Luigi Kid. You're dead. Oh, beautiful switch coming out. That is actually one good benefit that I guess Pokemon Trainer has in this matchup. Is that when there's no time to be able to air dodge, you got that switch, which I do believe comes out faster than air dodge, if I'm not mistaken. See I'm actually ya. not positive about that, but either way, it was a good mix-up for him to get out of that combo. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, he didn't care. Yeah, good Cyclone on the way back in. Mixing up out of disadvantage again, just poking through with the Vine Whip again. I love those aggressive options off the level coming out from Noku right here to make his way back. And now he's doing a wonderful job at keeping Luigi where he's not good, and that is in the air, my friends. Just mixing in and out in between the air dodges and the Cyclones over and over again. The Coin Spike, though, actually flipping the switches again and putting Noku in a position where he absolutely does not want to be again. Good pressure with the up air, not actually changing his position to keep that pressure by the corner once again. But this should do it. Yeah. There you go. Last stock scenario coming up between these two. Oh, boy. Let's see going to come out on top here. See, it's scary, man. This is where if you're not playing Pichu, it's like you actually want to take some percent. Oh, yeah, exactly. boy. exactly. <laughs> we are down to the very last stock between these two titans of players right here to get to losers semifinals. This is for some big sh money, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see which one of these two players wants it more. We do have a little bit of percent tacked on on the part of Noku, though I don't think it's enough to get away from the zero to death, as it now is at 21% Koopa. Yeah, you see Noku trying to kind of play around this. Uh, no? Okay. 
air, uh, spot dodging through the grab right there is Luigi Kid saving that option for when he needed it. I like the pressure coming in with the Squirtle side B once again. Beautiful reactions on the double jump to get him out of the corner right no. there is Noku, and that's going to be an up B. Yep. There we go. In game five thriller. It is Luigi Kid who moves on two losers' quarters, taking out Noku. So, All right. tough stuff, man. If you're, you know, if you're Noku, you definitely want that game four back. You know, you're in such firm control, but you know, having ripped away from you for the last second. Definitely enough to, a lot to take the air out of your sails. Um, but if you're Luigi Kid, you're like, hey, fourth place is guaranteed. <laughs> kind of nice. Not bad. Oh, man. And that is a hell of a set coming in, man. Luigi, like I said, is such a spectator sport character. He's got a little bit of that factor where, like, he can be one of the scariest characters to fight, one of the most stressful oh, yeah. to fight, but a commentator's dream. Yeah. You find that often goes hand-in-hand hand yeah, with a lot it, of the it, characters it in this game. It's fun stuff. It 